Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. If you haven't seen last week's video, I recommend you stop right now and go watch last week's video because this is part two of my propagation box project. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do is I've got a bunch of alocasia stubs and other stubs that I'd like to put in this one. So I'm going to collect those up, drain this one of water, because there's a lot of water in there, and then we're going to get started. Okay, I did that. I may need to end up getting more moss at some point. Um, I thought this was gonna be enough, now I'm not so sure. But I am now going to try and rehab some alocasia. Now, I've never tried to do them all in a container or an enclosed container, so I'm hoping this will work. Bear with me, but like this is kind of what an allocation nub looks like, if you can see it. Um, this one's doing fine. I mean, it's not rotted or anything like that. If I can get it to rehab, it will. Um, so I'm just going to wrap the nub in moss, pop her in here, and then kind of do the same for a bunch of others. Now this is the only nub I have that is currently not in soil or LECA. So we will be unpotting a lot of things today. But here's nub number one. Now, if at any point in the process of these rehabbing, I see one rot or I start to wonder if this is a good idea, I'm going to just pull them all out, no questions asked. I don't even know if I'll film it because this is kind of an experiment. I guess I'll lift you up to my eye level while I kind of explain all of the allocation nubs. Um, if you're new here, this is probably all news to you, but my apartment does not do winter well. So what that means is my apartment drops down to like 25% humidity and with multiple humid humidifiers in each room, I cannot get it up past like 38 most days. Um, and then I also live in Michigan, so the lighting kind of decreases. I have a lot of grow lights to kind of counter that one, but humidity is really what does it for my alocasia. I can't keep the soil moist enough, and I can't keep the leaves from dying off. Um, I, can hu I can do all of the other boxes, but it seems like this humidity is just really what does it. Um, so we're coming out of winter into spring, and I've got a lot of alocasia that just couldn't hack the low humidity. Um, mostly due to their size and yeah we're just gonna stick them in here and see if we can bring them back because i lost a lot this winter i lost a lot the winter before but for some reason i thought this winter would be different i was wrong humidity was still just as sucky let's see if we can fix it okay so we've got this guy and honestly i couldn't tell you what all the nubs are but he's in lecca oh i'm starting to think this one isn't an alocasia this one actually doesn't look like alocasia. I mean, I'm still gonna put them in here. What the heck is this? Well, I'm gonna trim this up because it's definitely not alocasia. And I'm gonna wrap them in moss and treat them like an alocasia anyways. You can't tell, but I've got a couple of nubs in here in soil. So I'm gonna dump these out and see what we can well, of course this one didn't survive. You can see it's still in that little like planter cone thing. It's stuck in that. Look, no wonder. Probably couldn't even get the moisture to it. This one's all hollowed out. I don't think it's gonna make it. I'm gonna give this one a shot, but I'm also not hopeful because of those little stupid cone things. Okay, here we have my lauder box again in soil. This one, I think we can we can bring back. It nearly came back um, last month, so I think we can do it. But again, it's in one of those stupid comb things. Where did I get this guy? I guess I need to check my plants more often for those. Yeah, this guy's got some dried up roots. I'm going to I'm gonna trim them up a little bit, but I don't want to entirely get rid of them. And he's still got some like green in, well, if you can see it, some green inside there. So I think this one's got some hope. 
So right here, this one is my Stingray. Again, this one tried so hard to come back next month. That's what this leaf is. But it was just too weak with the humidity just now starting to go up. So we are going to give it another shot. This one's got some good roots. Mostly they're just like dried up. We got this guy, he's a little bit bigger and he's already green and trying to come back, but I'm going to hopefully make it easier on him. Unless his root system might be too big. I might have to stick him in his own thing. He might be too big. Not sure what this is. We're gonna give it a shot. We've got, I think, two in here. I'm worried these ones might be rotted. Oh no, these ones are very green. Awesome. And for anybody who is not too sure what I'm doing, I'm essentially wrapping the bottom of the bulb, not the entire plant, just the bottom in, in the moss. I want there to be lots of air, but I also want there to be roots coming out the bottom. And I'm also not wrapping it too tight. It might look like I'm wrapping it pretty tight, but I'm actually really not. Okay, let's see if this guy's too big. His root system might be too big. He's big, but I think we can make it work. All his roots are all dried up. Um, so I just tugged him off a little bit. He'll take a little bit more moss, but he'll be a good example because he is larger for you guys to see what I'm doing. So you can see how much of it is actually covered up to there. I've got a bit of space in here, so I'm just going to put some of my um, smaller very unwell plants in here. And this is a philodendron something, but it's struggling with humidity as well. So I'm just going to pop her in here. There's a lot of soil on this plant, so I am going to go rinse it off. Because I am breaking this video into two parts, I wanted to give you an update on this part. Approximately a week and a half, two weeks later. So this is that final box I did. And what ended up happening is a bunch of mold started spreading. Um, and I didn't catch it immediately. I caught it maybe a day or two later and lost a couple of these guys. But I was able to separate the remainder from each other, stick them all in their own little separate pots with moss. Um, and so they've been in this kind of a function for about a day now. Me again, another different day. Since I lost that latter half of the video, I also lost my outro. Or I guess I never recorded it. I'm not entirely sure. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell to be notified when I post new videos, subscribe to see more houseplant content, and I will see you next time.